Friends, welcome to Battletech Solaris Knights, episode 108. Hunter McGregor versus Greaser. Hunter, it's been a exciting time. A lot of things have happened. Uh, there was a wedding. I don't know if you attended it. Uh, the word of Blake is apparently invading Terra, which is the not only the home of humanity, but also Comstar's seat of power. Uh, there's a lot of, of problems there. There was a jump ship pirate or sorry, a drop ship piracy incident a few days ago, which is all the talk in the media, given how uh, how well scrubbed the sensor records are and the fact that the uh, sensor operators of those records are apparently retiring to enter the private sector. Uh, mm -hmm. even even two days later. They are already the scrutiny of a intense criminal investigation. You've also been issued a new gym uniform, business casual, professional casual. Uh, I'm sorry, um, business suit by uh, Seth Kabrinsky. If you'd like to accept them, they're all in Apex Dragons colors, logos, etc. It has your name personally styled onto them. Some of the gladiators yeah. have accepted them wholeheartedly. Others have rejected them. Elizabeth apparently returned hers unopened. Uh, Hunter, Hunter will definitely, you know, take a look at it, see if it uh, meets with his uh, fashion sensibilities. Make an insight check. That's a D&D &D term. Well, what I really meant was instinct, but you know what I mean. Well, uh, that's a four. <laughs> these, these are fashion forward, very sensible, surprisingly well designed for a clansman. Yeah, Hunter will. Uh, Hunter will accept them. Very well. Is there anything you want to do around the stables? I know that there's a, a lot going on for some people, for others. Maybe a little less so. I think Hunter uh, will go uh, and try and see Elizabeth. All right. Her door is closed. Hunter will knock. Okay. So, okay, come in, Mr. McGregor. You can see that she's packing up all of her years of files, binders, uh, notepads basically winding down her time over the next couple of months. What can I do for you? Well, Elizabeth, uh, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but I am sorry to see you go. I always respected that you did what you felt was the right thing to keep the stable going. I appreciate that, Hunter. So I just wanted to uh, give you my best wishes, and if there's ever anything I can do for you uh, in the future, you know, feel free to, uh, to reach out. Okay. Thank you. Have you, uh... You can, just, just to be clear, she's low-key super pissed at you. <laughs> have you, uh, have you got a new, uh, new gig lined up? I have. I'm not able to discuss it at this time. Understood. Well, I see that you're awfully busy, so I'll leave you to it, but uh, good luck in, in your future endeavors. You as well, Hunter. Uh, it never dawns on Hunter that, you know, he was probably the the biggest bane of her existence <laughs> in in uh in season two no nah, it was the gun the gun well, my friend well uh, oh she's pissed at me about the gun she's pissed at everybody because you all lied to her about it well yeah she knows <laughs> that she knows it happens she just can't prove it right I, i'm sure you know hunter Killing Saya didn't exactly help things. <laughs> yeah, it didn't. It really didn't. It was rough because Elizabeth moved the whole stable to align with Lynn Hilder's vision of cooperation, and then, you know, 
Hunter and Seth killed them on the battlefield. It was not great. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would like to research my opponents. Greaser? You want to know more about the Grease Man? I do want to know more about the Grease Man. All right. Oh, my God. I cannot make a dice roll today. That's, that's a four. That's absolute garbage. That is hot garbage. Yeah, you want to do something about it, or are you going to let that garbage stand? I'm just going to let it stand. All right. Tell me a way that the Grease Man can uh, annoy you. Uh... I will say, uh, Hunter probably, uh, there's been a lot of change and Hunter's been on the, on the outside of a lot of it. So I think, I think Hunter's probably, uh, not so sure about his, his future with the stable right now. Um, and so, you know, that, that would definitely get under his skin. Okay, interesting. You still get to ask one question about the greaser, the grease man. Uh, what, what should I be on the lookout for? Well, it's interesting that you asked that. Uh, greaser, or the grease man as he is called, is a former shock jock radio host, kind of like a Howard Stern type figure. Okay. Whose parents, you know, early in his life, put him through military school. And, uh, you know, at some point he decided to try his hand out at like mech simulators again and mm -hmm. found out he was pretty good at it. His audience encouraged him to try out to become a gladiator and he has quickly risen to nearly the top. I mean, he's rank, uh, is it 49 here? Yes, he's rank 49 unlimited class, so, you know, he's the best of the best in the inner sphere. That said, he mostly wins by deeply upsetting and defending his opponents, uh, causing them great amounts of stress before the match. Okay. Good to know. I, for this match, will then, in that case, be taking Iron Will, Melee Master, and uh, Jumping Jack, and leaving off Human TRO. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you that taking Iron Will was a really good idea, because before your match, he does things like order 50 pizzas in your name and have them sent to the stable. <laughs> uh, other sort of really childish pranks, like publicly post your phone number. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, encourage all of his local shock jock friends to come up with the best insults for Hunter McGregor. Right? It just makes your life a nightmare for a full week before the match. And he encourages copycats to do the same. Okay. With Iron Will, you are resistant to psychological attacks, and so you take no stress from this before the match. Yay. What do you mean, yay? You would have taken two points of stress. I, I'm that, no, it's it's absolutely yay. I, I'm okay. glad I have this SPA. <clears throat> it worked out for me for once. <laughs> so I'm also going to tell you that he would have said something like, "Oh look, the dinosaur is here. Here comes old man time showing up in the arena again. What's he been here for? A decade? Move aside. <laughs> like he's older than you, right? But he hasn't been in the arena anywhere near as long as you." Right, that would right. have caused you a point of stress as well. That was your vulnerability. But with Iron Will, you avoid that as well. Excellent. All right. So do you want to go to your interview? I do want to go to my interview. Ernst Dieter Mueller welcomes you onto Solaris Science and says, Ah, Hunter McGregor, thank you for coming back once again. Mr. Mueller? No, nah, please, Mr. Mueller. Mr. Mueller was my uncle. Uh, just call me Ernst. 
Well, good to see you, Ernst. <clears throat> Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. What, what shall we talk about today? What shall we talk about? Obviously, your opponent has been making a lot of waves in the local uh, area. We're talking AM, radio, uh, the kind of thing that the uh, so-called working man listens to during the day. Do you have any response to his slanderous provocations? Well, when you've been around as long as I have, you develop a m much thicker skin. I, I don't let those things bother me at all. But I, what I would like to say is that I am going to guarantee my victory today, and I'm going to guarantee that victory for Elysian Fields. My producers are telling me that Elysian Fields, <clears throat> yeah, this is a mercenary company that fights the Jade Falcon clan, correct? Aye, that it is. Okay. So these are what one would call a protector of the Lyran state. I suppose you could definitely, you could, you could definitely say that, given yeah, that yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it is Lyran space on the other side of the Jade Falcon exclusion zone. Hunter, what do you know about this dropship theft? This act of piracy in the airspace over top of Solaris. It's now coming to light that many ships navigational data was interfered with by local Solaris uh, airspace towers that there are missing ships. Not only is the dropship missing, there were numerous ships involved in this piracy who were not only not tracked, but their departure zone was not tracked as well. There were aerospace fighters who left the tower without a flight plan. What do you think about all this? Does it stink of a conspiracy against the Lyran state? Well, you seem to know a lot more about it than, than I do, and than has been reported on the news, which is where I've been getting my information. I am the news. Ah, well. He points around to, like, the DBC banner. Right, but... Uh, but... But all, all I can say is, uh, it definitely seems like, uh, some high-level planning went into it as to whether it would be terrorism against the Lyrans or terrorism against the clans. Well, I, I leave that to wiser men than me to figure out. All right. Let me ask you about this. There has been a lot of talk recently about a permanent clan truce. Is peace with the clanners possible? Something I've learned on my time here on Solaris is that anything's possible. Even, even things I would have, would have thought could never happen. Uh, I would say that Apex Dragons is probably proof that small-scale uh, peace can be achieved with individual members of the clans. Whether that can ever happen on a larger scale, I certainly pray for it. I don't know whether... Uh, I don't. I, I. I. just don't know how real, realistic it would be, but I would. I would say that, so you know, Solaris and Apex Dragons are living proof that anything's possible. That's true. You've recently become best friends and battle comrades with Seth Kabrinsky. Uh, I wouldn't say best friends, but the greatest friends who have ever existed. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about the Word of Blake invasion on Terra. Yes. Uh, are you for terrorism or are you against terrorism? I have to say that there's, you know, a certain 
amount of nostalgia in my mind for 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 Terra, but I, I've never been there. Um, I've, I've I consider myself much more of a Northwinder than uh, than a Terran. Uh, so I, I don't really have a have a horse in this fight. Uh, the only thing I'm I'm most concerned about is making sure that the uh, hyperpulse generator network continues to be stable, because uh, with with all of the rumblings going around, uh, the last thing we would want would be a communications blackout. Which is exactly what we've got. So you would reproach Word of Blake for their heinous actions, then. I, I would say that what we need now is to get the uh, get the communications network back online as soon as humanly possible. Uh, frankly, doesn't matter as much to me which side of of the Comstar world is running it, whether it's the religious caste or the merchant caste. Uh, I leave that as an internal. Wow. thing to them, but we've got to get communications restored. Uh, we can't be blind, especially if uh, if war were to break out. Uh, we, need, we need to have strong lines of communication. Can you roll entertainment for a controversial political statement there? I can. Uh, not, as, not as bad as some of your rules. Yeah, that's six plus, plus one is seven. You can reduce stress by one or gain one glory. I will take the glory. All right, so <laughs> your idea of status quo, the two sides are the same, resonates in the hearts of some people. And uh, if Hunter McGregor wasn't already a household name, it'd be even more talked about. Hunter McGregor, the centrist champion. <laughs> the Joe Manchin of gladiators. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have any more questions for you unless you want to make some statements. Uh, no, I... I... I have uh, guaranteed my victory, and that is all I had left. Sorry, that was in the name of? Uh, Stonar, uh, Elysian Fields. Elysian Fields. He's going to need it, because I heard he's coming back in Season 3, and so is Salty Maker. Nice. Yeah, he's going to need it for upgrades for his own mech. All right. <laughs> Let's pop over here. Take a look at what your opponent Greaser is piloting today. A Berserker A3, which is a mask equipped mech with a hatchet, supporting a Guardian ECM suite, a anti-missile system, and an array of energy weapons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a, a big boy mech meant to get in close. It's actually surprisingly similar to a non-TSM version of your Highlander. Greaser's entrance involves uh, American muscle cars, the Battletech future version of that. But they're all Mad Maxi, right? So <clears throat> the chrome on them is uh, shiny, but everything's got kind of a worn down feel otherwise. There's like uh, machine gun nests on the back of them, way too many pipes, smoke pouring out of every pipe possible. Um, the Berserker comes down the center of this column of like 20 vehicles and uh, men and women with black greased hair wearing black leather jackets and black leather pants and like uh, wife beaters all come out and they pull out like, uh, it looks like it's a knife, but it's actually a comb and they all begin 
simultaneously combing their hair in the exact same way, all 20 of them and Greaser at the same time. It's like mm -hmm. synchronized swimming, but for combing. <laughs> then they're all doing like some West Side Story shit, some like uh, Grease, you know. It's uh, American dance music that ends with like, yeah. And then Greaser gets in his mech again, and everybody's just like, woo, Greaser, I love you. <clears throat> this is when he drops the line I told you earlier about, you know, dinosaurs like Hunter McGregor need to get mm -hmm. out of the way. He's a real shock jock radio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about Hunter? What's your intro? Are we going to get another drummer boy track here? Uh, no I prep for that. It's okay if you didn't. <laughs> Oh. The drummer boy on. So, uh, Hunter's band plays him on. Uh, he is back to his uh, usual uh, wingsuit, uh, Kyle Morgan uh, entrance. Uh, so, he wings on in, lands on the outstretched uh, arm of his, uh, of his mech, and then uh, crawls on. on uh, on into the, the cockpits. All right. This is where you're going to be really glad that uh, you had Iron Will today. Excellent. <laughs> Greaser opens communications between the two of you and goes, Huh. If you like Kyle Morgan so much, why didn't you marry him? Oh, wait. He's dead. And then there's like a wah, 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 wah. You know, like radio host sound mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. the soundboard in his cockpit. Yeah, uh, Hunter is is going to, you know, using his iron will. He's just going to be above it all and not not even respond. Just cut, just cuts the comms. Okay, that's good because this guy was supposed to build three to four points of stress before your match ever began. <laughs> oh, wow, what a crazy counter pick, dude. <laughs> Thank God I flubbed the roll, because otherwise I might not have even thought about it. <laughs> All right. Let's roll initiative. Okay. Uh, that's a nine. Oh, we got Lear and Alliance dice here. I'm going to roll those. That's a seven. Okay. Uh... I will enter from the western gate. Okay. He's GTG. And it's three from the water, yeah? Yep. I've got us at 20. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. We've got, we still got initiative to go. Never yeah. mind. Yep. You also have to pick a facing. Oh, yeah. That is not a proper facing. I am facing eight down. Uh, I also have an eight. Fine. I was sorry. No, I had a nine. I had a nine because I got plus one. Fine. I turn mask on. Seven is active. I turn Guardian ECM on, which I do. The so it's a three plus two is five. I have a seven, so you need to make a plus one pilot a PSR to shoot me. Okay. I am gonna jump three.
Jumping, huh? Interesting. Yep. Ten hexes. That's what I had. He's going to fire ERPPC. Large pulse lasers. Uh, maybe not. No, I can afford to get a little high. Sure. Here, PPC first before pulse lasers. Uh, it's uh, 10 damage left leg. 10 damage left leg. That is also a hit. It's center torso for 9 damage. Got it. And that's a miss. Okay, so no PSR? Not yet. I am going to fire a whole bunch of things. So uh, you have to start by making a PSR plus 1 roll to hit him through his uh, ghost ECM system. Uh, that's an 8, So my, and my pilot's 2, so okay, that's you're good. 6 above. Um, <clears throat> so I am going to be firing uh, a whole bunch of things, but the only things that can hit are the Gauss and the ER large. I'll also be uselessly firing 3 mediums and a medium pulse to get my heat up. <laughs> uh, awesome. So, this is my favorite part of Battletech where people just uselessly fire weapons constantly. Uh, I start at two, uh, three for my jump, so six, uh, and everything's in short range. So, need sixes for Goss and ER. Goss hits uh, 15 damage right torso. ER hits uh, what? ER large is 8 damage, and that's left leg. And that will require a PSR. He's good. Initiative of six. And initiative of eight. Uh, Ghost Mech is activated with a plus one PSR for you. He okay. is going to not move because he actually got a little hot there. So 38, 39, 48, built eight points of heat. Go ahead. Hmm. The famed Eric Fulgaris die is in play. <clears throat> That's how we know someone's going to get hit with a headshot. Seven hexes, huh? Seven hexes. He's going to fire two large pulse lasers. That hits right torso for a nine. 
right torso for nine a hit for nine uh i am going to hold on let me get this right torso in uh i am going to use my battle drill four i don't have battle drill four um you can use the move take a critical head hit yeah i it's either take the yeah i'm gonna use the uh the, i'm gonna spend the glory all right 2d6 plus instinct that's a seven okay you negate the pilot damage but you gain a point of stress And I still, do I still take the damage to the mech in this move? Yes. You do have to tell me, however, how you get through this match with glory. You know, what, if this is the highlight reel of your life, this scene appears in it. Yep. Um, so Hunter is so pissed at this guy. Um, you know, he's, he's been, been using the iron will to, to not show it, but he is, he is so pissed at this guy. And so, you know, he takes the, the, you know, big rock shot to the, to the head and he just, he just, you know, like Rocky Balboa's it and, and just, you know, completely shakes it off doesn't doesn't phase him at all and and his mech just keeps keeps moving forward you're on mute still my bad all right never mind this wasn't important <clears throat> you, you know what you dodged a bullet from my singing <laughs> uh, I believe it's your turn to shoot then. Okay. Uh, I am going to shoot Goss, ER large, one medium laser, and uselessly fire a small laser uh, to keep my heat. Uh, start at... Uh, three plus one for jump is four. Two plus one for heat plus one for jump is four. Um, so Goss and medium, uh, Goss and ER will be at fours and the medium will be at an eight. You have to roll for... Oh, I have to do my PSR first. Yes, yeah, ECM first. ESM, ECM is good. Goss. Fire away, coward. Uh, Goss hits 15 more damage to right torso. Well, now it's down to one. It's a good thing I don't have anything necessary for operations there, like three fusion engines. <laughs> uh, ER. Hits location for right arm for eight. Medium misses. Okay, he stays standing from the damage. Got anything else? Uh, nope, that is it. All right. Ten. Ugh, of course, this is the round I lose initiative for. ECM does not activate. Uh, I'm going to go one more round of jumpy jump. One, two, 
three. Okay. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. I haven't been playing this game nearly enough. <laughs> haven't played it recently, kind of wearing down. Yeah. All right, I'm pretty sure if I torso twist, my right arm can hit you. So. I am yes. definitely going to chop you. And if I you. torso twist, my, my arm can hit you too. Uh, yes, of course, yes. right. Uh, but that does mean you'll only be firing with weapons on that side. Your left side. I, so. I don't have any weapons that can hit you anyway. Left arm, all right. Well, I can hit you with all of my weapons. I don't, I don't <laughs> think they'll do very much, but... All right, let's see here. I didn't have to ask a mask to get here. Uh... He didn't know if your mech was going to have missiles this time, since uh, surprisingly a huge number of Apex Dragons mechs use missiles. So his AMS is not in machine gun mode, it's still in AMS mode. I have a flamer. So I'm going to do two large pulse lasers and that flamer, and then commit to a hatchet afterwards. Okay. Uh, you see I'm didn't activate, so that doesn't matter. Large pulse laser hits left leg for nine. Left leg for nine. Got it. Rear center torso for nine. Rear center torso for nine. Got it. Oh my god, the flamer misses. <laughs> this is what I needed was the, the heat built to push you out of your heat range. All right. You chop first, technically. Yeah, I shoot a bunch of weapons use uselessly uh, to keep my heat up. And then I'm going to double hatchet. I need not double once. Sure. Uh, hits. So 36 damage to right leg. Surprisingly, that leg still has armor on it. It's going to be bad, though. Second hatchet. Hits center torso for 36. Oh boy, I bet you I can survive that. I can. Four, five, six, seven, minus one. Yep, there we go. <laughs> All right, I'm s I couldn't. I couldn't hit right torso, could I? No, no, and it would have been bad if you did. So I'm swinging for twenty points of damage. Uh, three, four, five, twice. Oh, that's good. Uh, left leg for 20. Uh, that's internal. There are two crits on that. That's not great for me. Yeah, your day just went from bad to worst. Hip, hip, hip. Oh my god, they're both hip. Alright. <laughs> Alright, hip and foot. Alright, so... He needs to make a piloting check twice. Right? No, once, because he only took 20 points of damage. However, you need to make three. One for oh. hip, hip actuator destroyed, one for leg foot destroyed, and all of these are at a plus three. So three at a plus five. three. Well, your piloting skill's good enough that you shouldn't be worried yet. First one's good. Second one's good. Third one just made it. All right, and then I still have the second hatcher, right? I only hit you on the leg so far. Yes. Yes. Oh, I guess I should have waited then. I didn't realize. Sorry. Right. Rear a second center one. torso takes twenty. Rear center takes twenty. That is internal. With a critical. Three four is a gyro. Mm -hmm. So actually, all of those PSRs you just made would have been at a another plus three. So I would have failed at least two of them. You going down, brat. Yep. Uh, fortunately, as we all know, Battletech Total Warfare, page 68, will walk us through everything we need to follow a mech down.
Mm -hmm. I've been here so many times. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Me. All right. Imagine a guy getting the better of Hunter McGregor in melee. How often uh, does that so happen? I'm look. I'm three. Oh, you you rolled. Okay, never mind. You. I also got a three. So, sure. Uh, two hex sides right, and the damage you deal to yourself is to the right side. It's one for every ten. You're 90 tons, so you take 9 points of damage and a 5 and a 4 point to your right side if you want to roll for locations. Uh, if you want to roll, then I'll just put them on my... Very well, side. that's actually a much better idea. Uh, left torso for 5. Left torso 5. Left arm for 4. Left arm for 4. Somewhere out there, Spoon is rapidly typing something in Glad or uh, in uh, Solaris Knight's chat right now. He's like, "Oh no, Hunter down! <laughs> this is the worst. Is this the end of Hunter McGregor? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark?" <clears throat> oh my goodness, Hunter! This is a bad situation for, for you it really all around. Is. Um. I Actually, um, um, have, wait a minute. Can yeah. I? Shit. Uh, you stay standing. Does plot armor? No, plot armor is only for head hits. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and anything else? Uh, there's, I mean, there's nothing else I could have. I just wanted to give you an opportunity to approach the bench, make your case, object. <sighs> All right, Hunter, let's see where you stand, right? The crowd is going absolutely wild. As you may know, Steiner Coliseum is one of the few arenas. In fact, the only arena where m millions of people real, can attend. Cloud. Thousands yep. of people can attend live because of the, uh, the shield system inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are people that are like, oh no, Hunter's going down. Like they're fearful that you will die here, right? The the fans of even the greaser, they're like, ooh, this is bad. The grease man's gonna wreck this dude. Hold back, greaser. <sighs> All right, so the greaser sees you on the ground. The berserker does not like. From from the forward angle, I don't think it looks too intimidating if you get a close up in here. But I'm mm -hmm. assuming when you're on the ground looking at that Warhammer type hatchet floating above your head, it's probably a little bit more terrifying. <laughs> Chunks of your mech are falling off of the hatchet, and he opens comms and he says, "You need a hand up, old man." If you're willing to give it, I'd much appreciate it. All right. So, you know how in WWE sometimes the wrestlers will intentionally become obtuse and just be like, go to the crowd and be like, yeah, I'm winning this match while their opponent secretly struggles to get up in the background. He yep. starts doing that, but he reaches a mech hand down, the one without the hatchet, to help you up. <clears throat> you're okay. basically just dra grabbing a, uh, a, a PPC barrel, but you know. He weighs a lot more than your mech, an extra 10 tons. So if you need to pull yourself up using him, it's a lot easier. Okay. Okay. So my question is, are you going to sucker punch him while, he's, while this is happening? Uh, Hunter is not going to sucker punch him. Okay. Then just make a roll to stand up. Yeah, you're up. <laughs> All right. This works out great for the crowd because they're like, oh, the greaser, what a gentleman. <clears throat> but all the Greaser fans are like, yeah, he's got him now. Now the, the fool is still in the combat. Hunter McGregor's about to get wrecked. All right. At the beginning of the next round, seven, uh, still only a plus one ECM. But, you know, plus one ECM is better than no ECM. I have uh, eight initiative. My initiative is five. Go ahead. 
Oh no, I go ahead. Hmm. We go ahead. He's just gonna stand still. I mean, there's no way he, the guy he just helped get up would jump behind him and cause him all kinds of problems. <laughs> go ahead, do whatever you want to. Um, what's your facing? I am facing northeast. Okay. Facing this way. So I'm. Uh, I can pick any direction. I would. No, I've chosen this wrong. I've, I. <laughs> Wait a second. No, I'm I'm facing the other way. I'm facing this way cuz I had to run behind you to get there. Yes. Okay. Um So you got yeah, to turn so to face any direction you wanted to when you stood up, of course. Right. So I would have faced him. Okay. Uh but I, that's not his rear arc. That's his that's side correct. arc. That's his side okay. arc. Uh then I'm going to Eric Volgaris purple dice. Oh, he Eric Volgarist as well, so now you guys are just locked in place. Uh, he torso twists and fires two large pulse lasers and a flamer. Right leg for nine. Right leg for nine. Left leg for nine. That's probably not That's great. bad. That's internal. No critical. You're starting to lose pieces of that leg you really can't afford to, though. Right. Flamer hits. Right torso takes two points of damage, and you build two heat. And again, that's a house rule, friends. Calm down. Don't email me about it. <laughs> that's it for my shooting. Okay. If you want to shoot him, you have to make the ECM roll, of course. I will make the ECM roll. That'll do. Okay, I am gonna shoot uh, three mediums and two medium pulse. Is that what I wanna do? No, I'm gonna shoot Goss. Goss, two mediums, two medium pulse, and the small laser. Okay. Remember Everything that you're shooting said. all of these left side. Yep. Uh, Everything's short. The Goss gets two extra bonus badness points. Uh, so I'm shooting at uh, Breeze. Uh, and five for the Goss. So, Goss. It's, uh, nine, you said right side. Yep. Nine on right side is left torso for 15. No, no, sorry. It's left side. You're on his left, left side. side. Okay, right torso for 15. Oh, Glimo, you're a real son of a bitch! No crit. I have even seven internal right torso. Even if I'd brought TRO, uh, that wouldn't have. No, there's critted. a crit there. You have a you have a nine critical roll. You're looking at cluster. Oh, I'm looking at cluster. You're yeah, right. You definitely there have a crit. crit. Come over here and roll your dice. Okay. I got a pondo for you. What'd you get? Five three. Five three is nothing. Roll again. One six. One six is a large pulse laser. Nope. It's the Guardian ECM suite. Well, that's fine. It hasn't done anything. <sighs> I still want it back. <laughs> All right, uh, what's next? <laughs> okay, just next your first is shot. medium. Hits headshot for five. All right, it takes it. Uh, second it, medium is right leg for five. This is for following audience. I'm good. Uh, right leg for five is internal, but you had nothing. I had no crits. Yep. Uh, medium pulse hits location three left leg for six. Okay. 
second pulse hits uh, left torso for six. Small laser hits left leg for three. Okay, I rolled for the head hit and the fall damage, or for fall attempt, but he survived both of them. All right, double axe. Yes. Center torso 20. Center still torso are 20. In there. Yeah, wasn't so great. Yep. Uh, right arm for 20 with a critical. Not internal. That was fresh. Very well. You still get a PSR for this hit, and because you have a gyro hit, right? Yes. It's at a plus three. Uh, well, actually, it's a lot higher, right? Because you also yeah, have a I've hip hit and a leg legs. hit. Yeah. So all of your PSRs for this are at a plus six. Okay. I am going to double hatchet. Very well. Uh, actually, I'm going to double hatchet and punch. Uh, so first hatchet. Hits. Uh, 10 on the left side is right arm for 36. Oh, you know what? We've done this every single time. Yes, you can double hatch it and punch, and I probably should, yes. should have done it both times. Sorry, <laughs> did you say right arm for 36? Yes. Okay, that is internal. Uh, no crit. 23 from 36 leaves another 13. I mean, it's going to be four points left. All right, what else? Second hatchet hits barely. Uh, center torso for 36. 10 on 36, 26. 26 off of 31 leaves five. Okay, and that's internal, just in case it was. No, but you didn't bring. Yeah. All right. Well, that was really bad. Five center torso is awful. And then my punch hits right arm for 18. I think that's the game. So right arm comes off for four. Right torso comes off uh, at 11. Center torso comes off at another five for 16. So it's already over. You just punch right through. <laughs> <laughs> you like hit his arm, crunch it into the right torso. The right torso collapses inwardly. Like the punch just keeps going and going until the fusion bottle just cracks. <clears throat> As his mech is going down, he ejects. There's no, no mockery left in him. He doesn't have any smart, biting insults. He's oh, just out. Let's see if I knock myself out That's uh, true. with my fall. Uh, so I've got, I need to make, you said it's a plus six. Yes. So I need an eight. That's rough. You're going Ooh, down, That's bro. not enough. Um, You're going to edge it? <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to decide. Do I, do I edge this or do I save the edge in case I hit my head it when really I fall? It really feels like you should just save the edge just in case. I feel like I should. I feel like right. I'll, I'll, I'll save the edge no so reason I don't to risk die your life. if I... All right, make your, um, make your where you fall roll, which is 1d6. Three. Uh, three moves you two hexes right. And, uh, it's a right side hit on 10. Take five damage left arm. Five damage left arm. Got it. You also take four damage center torso. I think you're going to be fine. Yep. It's a brutal, brutal match versus Greaser, the Grease Man. Yes. The shock jock. But he's down, and his mech is not getting back up again. That berserker is now a paperweight. Do you attend your exit interview? 
I do attend the exit interview. All right. Ernst uh, invites you to sit down and talk, and he says, how did that match go for you? How did you feel inside when it was happening? Well, he, he got to me a little bit. I, I, I was out of my head for a little bit of the match. Uh, it, it cost me some internal damage that I really didn't want to lose, but in the end, the superior pilot won. Was it his comments about Air uh, Morgan? Kyle Morgan. That was the whole thing. You can, you can, as stoic as I am, there's only, you know, after, after a million mosquito bites, eventually you have to slap at it. You know, speaking of slapping at things, let's talk about your relationship with Seth. You appear to be walking away from being close friends with him. Where would you say you stand? I'd say that I respect him, uh, both as a as a competitor and as a and as a man. Uh, I, I think there's too much too much bad blood between us from the fight of, fights against the clans that I've that I've done for us to ever truly be friends. But I think I I, I definitely respect him as a person and respect his his skills in a mech. You've made it into the bottom fifty of Solaris and even now, you appear to be being called out by Longshot, the rank 32 pilot, who's willing to put his title on the line to face down with you. Do you have any response to that? So Hunter does spend a lot of time studying his, his future competitors. Uh, what, what, does, what does he know about Longshot? Make a research roll. I mean, can you just like tell me something general? I mean, I'm, I'm happy okay, to make a so Longshot has, has for uh, the last year been in a rivalry with Chris Cross. Chris okay. is, as you know, a master of melee combat, and Longshot mm -hmm. is, as you might suspect, a master of long range combat. Mm -hmm. So the two of them have been imaginarily playing up beef between them for drama points. Um, uh, Longshot is uh a cheater is a strong word uh long shot is is a kind of guy who sits in the back and pummels you with missiles long before you ever get to him and uh some people don't like that he fights like that that it's rare for opponents to even see him if he's gonna win mm -hmm. uh Well, if he's willing to give me a, a chance at his title and I can move up the ranks that quickly, I'd be a fool to turn it down. Somewhere, Longshot is sitting back going, I'm going to kill a student before I kill him. <laughs> I <doesn't> say that. <clears throat> okay. He doesn't have any further questions. Dropping the long shot bomb is uh, more than good enough for him. Excellent. Well, in Ernst, thank you very much for your, your time as always, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next match. Of course, of course. He does his usual stand up, salute the flag, uh, salute the Archon. Etc. Etc.
<laughs> All right, let's talk about mech repairs. Yes. What's this one going to cost you? Uh, it is going to cost me two because I'm a custom mech with internal damage, but I've got mech deck. My God. Very well, it's on the board. I am going to train with Brody. Of course. That will level me. This is my first level for the Legend playbook. And I am going to take Get In My Car. Get In My Car? What a Get great my song. Car. I wonder who wrote that song. I think you mean jump in my car. All or right. jump in my car. Yes. yes. I'm going to okay. take jump in You're my gonna car. You're going to get a signature mech. So, I mean, listen, you have free reign to build a mech however you want and then submit it to me. I, you can make it look like however you want. I have a, uh, a pretty good idea already, but I will refine the design over the next couple of days and get the you the Super seat. Highlander. It is going to be the Super Highlander Hunter Edition. <laughs> it's going to be a 100-ton Highlander. Perfect. If, I mean, listen, if the Centurion can do it, the Highlander can definitely do it. <laughs> oh, anything else for Hunter McGregor here? That is everything that I have for today. All right, great. I'm old, so I'm going to go take a nap because I'm just like Hunter McGregor dinosaur. <laughs> Oh man, what a crazy match. It was looking rough for you there for a moment. I, I really thought that I was done. <laughs> uh, frankly, if he didn't help me up, I'm not sure I would have gotten there on my own. Listen, when you get to the highest levels of competition, a lot of the times the kind of murderous, petty bullshit of the lower ranks gives way to a recognition of, you know, skill, right? Mm -hmm. What, you, you're going to get to know these people. You're going to go to their kids' birthday parties. They're co-workers. You don't murder them. <laughs> this isn't like you're having to claw your way out of the blood pits anymore. <laughs> you guys are going to have to work together, is the thing. You know, mm -hmm. probably up in movies together. <clears throat> it goes a long way to treat people with a little bit of respect. All right. I'll see you in... Two weeks, Clemo? Does that uh, sound right? Sounds good. All right. All right. Thanks. Have Arthur. a good time zone. <laughs>